Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we're back to working on our metal planer restoration, and the goal for today is going to be to get our counter shaft mounted up top here with the pulleys to drive down to the bottom, get us one step closer to getting this machine finished up. And yes, it has been dragging. Uh, my amount of shop time the last uh, couple of months has been extremely limited due to all kinds of reasons that's really just not even important. But bottom line is I haven't been able to get in the shop and do much. But we're here today and we're going to make some progress. So let's get started and see if we can get this uh, shaft mounted and get us again a little bit closer to getting this machine running. So to start with, I ordered a brand new piece of shafting. This is an inch and a half diameter shafting, which matches uh, the bearings that I've got up here, it also matches the diameter of the inside bores of my pulleys that was on the original counter shaft uh, that I've got. So when I got this machine, it came with th three of the original pulleys, the two drive pulleys on each side that go down to uh, the forward and reverse pulleys, as well as a bigger drive pulley in the center that connected to probably originally a, a line shaft, but we're gonna be using it to go to a motor. Um, what I'm gonna do is see if I can get these uh, the shaft lined up here. I got the got it out on this side. It's just gonna be easier, I think, to go in this way, but that should just be a slip fit through there. Like such. Here we go. And I'm just gonna bring it on in a little bit past center here. It's going to be hanging out the other side, but I got to get my other pulley in here and uh, on this as well. So I think that'll hold it for the time being. Let me get my pulley that goes on next. We'll get that on here and then get our other bearing block in place and uh, slide it on through. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my pillow block back in on this side. And we'll just uh, screw this jack screw up by hand right now just to kind of get it tight, finger tight anyway. Now, these pillow block bearings have a little bushing type thing. It's got a little cam lock in it that goes on each side. I've got those mounted to the inside. This just kind of helps uh, get this bearing where it's tight on the shaft. Right now you saw how easy that slipped in there. What we'll do is there's a little cam feature on this where you turn it, there's a hole for a spanner wrench, we'll lock that in place and then put a set screw in there and that will actually lock the shaft in place. I don't want to do that right now because we're still going to adjust these shafts, but I need to go ahead and get that on. And next I'm going to bring up my big pulley and this should slide right on here. Got some weather coming in here. You might hear it thundering in the background. All right, we are sliding there now. I'm just gonna slide this big pulley kind of all the way in over here. And again, I got another uh, cam lock piece here. And now I'm gonna bring my shaft in, hopefully. Get it lined up on the second pulley. And this probably is gonna take a little bit of an alignment. These uh, bearings and the pillow blocks can kind of float around and uh, we gotta get them where they're lined up. Once they get lined up, it should go in there nice and easy. I may have to get on the other end and tap on it with a lead hammer. I think I'm actually getting it here. So again, I want to show you this little cam shaped grind they've got on this hub. If you look, it's cammed all the way around and I got this bushing here. It also has a matching cam on the inside. And the idea here is, is that at some point they, it slides up on there. 
what I want to do now is turn this so that it locks in place onto that, that cam on that bearing. And I'm going to come in here with a little spanner wrench and just kind of tighten that up, get it good and tight. And then I'm going to tighten up this set screw right here. Let's see, I think this one will fit it. Nope, too big. Let's see here, there we go. Tighten this up. All right, so now what has happened is, is that I have locked this bearing or this, this uh, spacer here to the shaft and we have twisted and locked that in place so that as this counter shaft turns, it's driving the bearing and it's not turning inside the bearing. One other thing I'm gonna comment right here since I got you zoomed in, I had several people in the comments talk about how I needed to flip these over so that there was a little grease zerk so it would be in the bottom where it was accessible so that I could grease the bearings. And you know, I think that that's a, a fair comment. However, I think it's also important to understand what this grease zerk is greasing. It's actually not greasing the bearing itself. It's greasing the outside of the bearing that rotates and, and can position inside this pillow block. So it's really more the alignment of the bearing that is greasing. I'm not too worried about that because once we get this set up, it's not like this thing's gonna have a lot of flex in it and it's gonna be moving around. Um, the bearing itself is a sealed bearing. You cannot grease it. Uh, there are little plastic covers here on the side. The grease is on the inside, it's permanently sealed. So this is a non-serviceable bearing. So when you put the grease in on the outside, all you're doing is greasing the outside. You're not actually greasing the bearing itself. I'm not worried about that little zerk fitting not worried one bit. So that side should be locked in place now and I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. So here's where we are. I got my shaft in place. I've got it sticking out the same on both ends. We measured it, it's basically 16 inches on either side. I've got the bearings locked in place. The shaft will not slide side by side anymore. We got spacers or we got uh, bushings here that are tightened to the shaft on either side. They're on the inside of the bearings. It will not allow the shaft to move back and forth and it is attaching the bearings to the shaft. Now the, the big pulley here, this will be the drive pulley that will be belted up to a motor. I have not yet uh, screwed it down to the shaft. Uh, there's two set screws in here that we'll do that with. And I'm gonna wait until I get my motor in here and know exactly where I need to get it for alignment. I'm not sure right now where that's gonna be. It's gonna be somewhere close to where it is right now. But just looking at it, I mean, it's, it's turning really nice. Uh, we seem like we got good friction in here. I'm just kind of eyeballing across the top of this pulley to see if there's any run out in it and it's minimal at best. So uh, I'm not too worried about anything going there. I think our pulley's running true. The next thing we need to do is get our pulleys mounted on each side. These will belt down to the machine itself. And uh, I need to figure out which pulley goes on either side and uh, get those mounted and get them lined up. Those we can go ahead and align uh, because we know where those are gonna need to, to belt up to. So we're ready to put this big pulley on this side. I'm coming up a ladder with it and I'm hoping it's just going to slide right on there, keeping my fingers crossed. Look at there. Wow, that was easy. A lot easier than I thought. Okay, so I need to get these this lined up and get a set screw in here. All right, guys, hard to get a shot up here, but let me show you what I've done. I got this long piece of steel and I basically just went down to the pulley on the bottom and I lined it up on the inside uh, on the top and the bottom and then I came up top here let me just get that lined up right there I came up top here and I also lined up the pulley on the top and the bottom to that straight edge now arguably that's not the straightest straight edge in the world but I think it's going to be plenty straight enough and let me get that out of the way That is out of the way. And now what I want to do is come in here with a 
set screw. This is a 5 8 inch uh, 11 square head set screw. And that's just the size that was in that pulley. And we'll go ahead and And we'll go ahead and tighten it up. And we'll get this one locked in place. And that should be attached to that pulley. Attach that pulley to the line shaft and that looks good. Now for the other side, uh, this pulley is a much smaller diameter one. This will be for the uh, drive side, the side that moves the table forward. The other side is for the reverse side. Let's see, get that about where it needs to be. That's going to be real close right there. And let me get my wrench and I'll tighten up the set screw and I think we'll have that one set. Right, I'm tighten this up. Well, I think we have our pulleys installed. Our line counter shaft is installed. And uh, it looks good. So next, uh, I never did paint these pulleys. I probably should have painted them before I put them on, but we're just going to go ahead and paint them up here on the machine. So I'm going to paint them a red color on the inside, just like the pulleys down below. Um, and anyway, that's my game plan. So I'm going to go get a paintbrush. Won't bore you guys with watching me paint uh, because it's boring, but we'll get this knocked out. Well, there we go, guys. We have our counter shaft and pulleys all mounted up here. I got all this stuff painted up. As you can see, I uh, got a nice red color in there. I think that contrasts nicely with the black, red and black together go to real, together really well. And I've kind of used red elsewhere on this machine on parts that were moving. Uh, I did the inside of my bed in the same shade of red, uh, Remington red, I think it's called. And um, anyway, I like the way it looks. I think it's gonna be awesome. And uh, I've got my pulleys all, bolted down except for this one still is loose and I need to find out exactly where it's going to need to be once I get my motor mounted in there and figure out the alignment for that belt. Uh, but everything else, I think we are in pretty good shape here and we have made yet another major milestone toward uh, getting this machine restored and back up and running. Guys, I know it's been a slow go here lately and nobody's more anxious to get this done than I have, but only limited amount of time in the shop it seems like and uh anyway we are slowly getting there so uh, that is going to be a wrap hope you enjoyed seeing that glad to have this checked off the list and uh guys as always uh please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, comments are appreciated as are those thumbs up and hit that bell icon if you want to get notification of new videos when we post them to the channel and with that guys we will catch you on the next video thanks for watching